Hi everyone, this is Srinivas. Welcome to Amirpet Technologies. In this video, I am going to explain about uh, column span and row span. So when we go with column span and row span, so whenever you want to merge, merge multiple columns right inside the table record, we use a column span. Multiple rows if you want to represent, then we are representing with the table means what row span column spans we are using so let me explain one example first with a with a column span i'll explain this is the table i'm creating simply simply i'm creating this table this one but here i don't want to create like this generally how we represent enter username text box password text box and then login or submit any button we use we use here I'm just representing like this one two three four and five I just want to make it center two alignment now how to apply that column span and row span in the table first we need to create the table table start then table end total how many rows are there three rows are there table row start table row end second row start second row end third row start third row end first i have represented all the three rows in the first row there are two columns representing the values one and two here it is a table data we know already representing with the value one table data next representing with the value two is a table data and this one too table data is a value 3 3 and here it is a table data as with the value 4 up to here it is okay now go to that last one right here it is the two columns you need to merge so how to represent that is the table data TD in this one we need to use the attribute call span how many columns you want to merge two columns i want to merge okay then use that two two columns i want to merge then right whenever you merge if you write five the five will appear to the left side it will align to left no i want to make it center then after call span you need to specify that align equals to center that is close here we represent 5 and this is data table data look at this how many columns are present in the third row only one column only one column is present but here actually two columns are there the two columns we merge two columns we merge and after merging whatever the information is present that I want to make it center align to center and this is the data which I want to display in the column the same thing we need to specify with the rows also this very simple thing suppose here I want to create like this just one here I want to display only one only one I want to represent then see observe this this is the first row this is the first row we are representing this is first row in this first row we are specifying like this tr next one here it is a sorry here it is td no need to write like this td this one whenever you specify this one td it's a row span row span equals to 2 row span equal to this is the first row na you are you are thinking about the first row only first row in the first row you need to specify one but by merging the first row and second row so here it is that row span that value is a two next here that if you want to make it center yes align equal to center then specifying the value is a one that is close that is close it is completed first row completed no in the first row what is present 
2 is also present. So, the second one, TD, is a 2 is present, is it closed? In the first row, this is the first column. First column and this is the second column. Yes, I represented. Now, come to the second row. This is important. Look at this. What is missing here? 3. 3 is missing. Yes, miss the 3. Miss the 3. Finish. Because here, whenever you are taking, automatically it is representing here also. So, no need to take this. Whenever you specify the TD4, automatically it will come to that next one. Because the same thing is will come and representing this one also. Remaining is the same. This is how we are representing the table row, table column span. How to merge multiple number of rows and how to merge multiple number of columns. Hope you understood. Thank you all.